Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking with you about the latest build from Microsoft, which is build 22610. And unlike in the previous version, we can easily see the build, the watermark on the lower right corner. But with this version, you may not able to see it because the watermark no longer exists with this version. So let me quickly press this menu button and let's go to setting and here in system about here you can see the version now being installed in my PC is 22610.1 which is latest OS build as of today. So what's new in this particular build? So in this particular build which is 22617 we will see a lot of changes in terms of fixes. If we talk about the feature here are the following changes with this version. So starting with new MDM and group policies. I believe this is feature specifically for those people who are going to use it for professional use. Because now uh, we can see there are a lot of enhancement in MDM and group policies which will enable as we can see here. This will basically give the IT administrator of companies you know to implement new policies to the Windows 11 devices. And not only to Windows 11, but also the mobile phone that is generally being provided by the companies. So here we can see what else the IT administrator can do with the help of these new group policies, which is disabling quick setting flyout, disable notification center and calendar flyout disable all taskbar setting and so on so here you can read out all the superpower now being provided to it administrator if you are not the business or enterprises user then this feature is of no use for you so you can simply just ignore it the next feature that i'm going to talk about is family safety widget update the family safety widget now comes with new location sharing view that shows you where your family member are using the family safety app there is also a new update for the people in a member role which include an improved view as you can see here of your screen time used across apps and devices if we talk about the changes and improvement, then Windows 11 Home Edition and Dev Beta Channel no longer enable SMB1 client by default as Windows 11 Home Editions are not meant to be used for this purpose. SMB or Server Message Block is basically a network protocol which is used to guide and provide access to devices to share the information together which is now being disabled in Windows Edition which I would say is a good step towards security. The next update is related to the design of battery icon. Now the design of battery icon is also updated on the lock screen to be consistent with one in taskbar. Now the estimated battery life timing can also be seen in the tooltip of battery icon. I may not be able to show you this feature because I don't use laptop. If we talk about some feature improvement for tablet, now windows have disabled the tablet optimized taskbar because microsoft have received lot of feedback from user if we talk about the improvement in widget some of widget now became more dynamic with this version and i didn't realize actually here you can see now we do not need to click on it just by hovering here this widget actually getting opened up and here you can see this widget now turn dynamic there is one small update with taskbar also so if i open this taskbar now here you can see the heat map which is you can see with this color is now based on the accent color or the theme color you know which we are going to use if we talk about uh, improvement in file explorer so let me just quickly open it up and here if i open d drive for example and if i make right click and open the context menu and here we can see rename and property icon also being updated so that was a very minor change in file explorer the last thing that i'm going to talk about is the phone link option now or we can see it in settings in bluetooth and devices so here now we can find this phone link option which was generally available here in menu Apart from this, there are a lot of fixes now being added with this version. So if you go here and see, 
the amount of pixels that came with this version is insane and here you can see the number of pixels comes with this version which surely going to improve the reliability and stability of this particular build of windows 11 so i hope guys you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye